Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, I want to show you how to customize the accordion block in Squarespace. Um, super quickly, going to jump in and show you how to customize using the built-in features. If you already know this and you're here for the CSS, just like fast forward a little. Um, okay, added one to the page. It's just add block, choose the accordion block. Once you're in here, click the pencil. Um, super quickly running through this, you can change your content here. So the title, what goes below the title, um, fun fact, you can just add a, like a dash and hit space and it'll make bullet points for you. Took me a bit to figure that one out. Um, you can delete any of these, you can add items, etc. Over in the design tab, there's a couple things I do all the time. So the title, I change really based on what I'm doing with this, um, but that option is here. We can tweak that a little more with CSS. Um, this, I always, I usually keep paragraph two. The thing I always change here is the width to uh, large. I don't know why it would be medium because the width of everything else is large. So um, I always, always change that. Um, Really don't do much here, but you can expand the first item automatically if you want. You can allow, you know, multiple to be open at once. Dividers, I typically turn off the first and the last one just so then they're just showing in the middle. Um, again, totally up to you. I totally use the other ones too just based on styling. Change the opacity a lot because I think they're just kind of overwhelming. Um, you can change the thickness if you wanted. The icon, I tend to go with the plus and I almost always end up moving it over to the right. I think it's more obvious if you have a shorter title and the plus is all the way over here. Sometimes it gets lost. You can add a background to it, which, um, which would negate some of the CSS I'm going to show you, which is totally cool. Or, um, follow what I'm saying about later adding it over a colored shape block. Um, but yeah, you could add a background there if you wanted. Okay. So Lastly, real quick, is you could also go into your site styles, go into your colors. Um, so I'm on lightest one theme here. You can, as usual, just like click on it and try to get it to bring up the stuff you need. It, you, if you are if you know Squarespace, you know this can kind of like not be the greatest. Like it brought up the icon color, but nothing else. So you might have to go into show all and then scroll to the accordion block, which I won't waste your time with. But there you can choose based on the theme, you can choose the colors. So that sets you up for like, okay, cool. Like if you're using this lightest one theme and your accordion block, you're like, okay, I just want it all to be black. Awesome. It's legible. Like this is good to go. Whatever. Um, the real reason I wanted to create this is because what I've been doing a lot now with just current design trends, um, I'm doing a lot more of the like panel like this, like solid, solid panel, solid panel, solid panel. Um, I think that's getting a bit dated. And so I'm doing, there's a lot more of just these like free floating design happening. And it just, it looks so nice. So for example, I'm using a lot of shape blocks a lot of soft rounded edges, and then I would want to put my accordion over that. So this happens a lot where, for instance, I'm using a, I'm using the light background and I don't want to change the settings and site styles because maybe I'm like using the accordion directly on the light background somewhere else. Um, so let me duplicate this. I'll duplicate this, put it over this dark background. Obviously, we like can't really see anything. So I was doing this with a client and for example, like I had this, this is why, for example, like you can add a background to it here, but this specific example is because I had something like this going on where I was saying like, I don't know, like our features or something like that, you know? Um, so it was kind of like in a block with something else. So I couldn't just adding a background to the accordion block, like wasn't really helpful. Um, so let me exit out and now we'll pop in the CSS. So I pasted this directly from the post. Um, I'm just dropping in my brand color here. Um, so for example, this first one changes the description text. That is this text in here, the actual description. Um, that's this one. The second one changes if you have a link in description. So adding this a, I had an instance where I had a hyperlink inside the description. So you have to use this if that's the, if that's the case, um, this changes the color of the title. And then lastly, the color of the icon you do in my experience need this important tag to make the color of the, uh, icon change. So yeah, as you can see, it's all working. I've just changed it all to this turquoise. So, um, super simple, super cool. The, but you're all like, okay, 
Now it's changed the color of the one in the white. This defeats the whole purpose. Right. So with this one specifically, it makes the most sense. Check out, I put it in the post, but I use the Google extension that finds the block IDs for me. So for this case, I would choose the block ID of this specific accordion, pop it in before each bit, throw an extra set of brackets around it, and we should be good to go. Actually, do we need, actually lies? We don't need the brackets. Um, let's see if that's going to work here. I'm not sure why it's not working. Let's see. Oops. Oh my gosh. Let's fix that. Okay, there we go. As you can see, it just took a second. Sometimes with CSS, it'll like take a second to take, but it's done it. Worst case scenario, refresh your page before you decide it's not working. But as you can see, it's worked. So now it's only applying to this block here. Um, yeah, you definitely don't need that other extra set of brackets. I always kind of forget, but no, you don't. So this is correct. You can add it in. Again, I've posted about how to find those blocks um, in a different post. You can see that link um, in the description and in the post and hope you guys enjoy.